best time for creatives because it's a time in between where people never lose their emotional connection to music and content, so definitely it's a great time. I think for as like independent, you have to um, not care about what nobody say. Because people tell you certain things that you can't do and what you can't do, and that is like that's your confidence up to not doing it. Me, as an artist, I just do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't let nobody stop me, and I just keep going. I'll find certain artists online, like SoundCloud or uh, certain artists that hit me up on Instagram, like, hey, can you check out my music? And I'll say one thing for sure that you guys should not be scared to hit anybody up on Instagram. Like anything else, there's no handouts and nothing is easy. So you have to really think about um, how you package yourself, how you tell your story, and make it so that somebody wants to be a part of your story. If you're making enough noise in enough places, you're smacking enough hands, you're talking to people, and you just got some fire, like, Someone's gonna share it. And then that's how it ends up on your feed. So it's great to, to post and to do all of your stuff, but there's different ways like you can use that social platform and put everything up there, but you've got to combine it with, with old school tactics and, and real just grassroots. It's been an amazing day today out here. Tech Lamert right here in the heart of Lamert Park. They got the street blocked off. It was amazing getting to be on the panel. If there was any questions you had about tech or about music, go ahead and drop a comment, hit me up, I'll get back to you.